fucking mic wasn't even on. Hey, how you doing? Uh, so... I can't sleep, and it's the weekend, so I don't really have shit to do today. So, uh... Y'all wanna play some more- y'all- y'all wanna play some more Red Dead? Hey, how you doing? Uh, so, what happened earlier was... My internet basically, like, cut. And I- I had to stop the stream because it just kept fucking pausing and shit. So I was like, alright, I'm not dealing with that bullshit. So I just stopped the stream, and then I was like, okay, let me go to bed. I sleep for like an hour, and it's hot as fuck right now, so I'm just like, okay. I, it's too hot, can't function. I got, I got ice cold water on my left. Let's play some fucking Red Dead. I was gonna play Final Fantasy, but like, low-key, I'll do that on Monday. I gotta, like, do a big fucking Final Fantasy stream, because, like, I haven't played that shit in, like, a week. Maybe, like, two weeks now, because I think it just only says, uh, it only just says Yakuza and, uh, and, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey, uh, how the fuck can I remember it? Uh, and, uh, and Red Dead. You know the game we're currently playing right now? Uh, uh, you know how I just forgot the name of it? Yeah. I saw that there is a, a new FNAF game. That just, did I just spit on that lady? God damn, Arthur. He's like, man, fuck you, bitch. How dare you walk in my presence? Like, damn, Arthur, calm down. Anyways, as I was saying, um, I saw that there's a new FNAF game. I might check it out. Uh, I know I got some of you guys from the FNAF games, and I know you guys really did enjoy my playthroughs of those, so maybe I'll play it. It's like only 20 bucks, so it ain't that bad. Okay, there. Good morning, sir. My belief is, is that if it's less than like 30 bucks, I'll probably buy it. I'm kind of a cheapskate when it comes to that shit. I'm gonna play a little bit of, I'm gonna play a little bit of Blackjack real quick, because I think I gotta... One of my, uh, one of my challenges is I have to... Fucking what was it? Gambler, there you go. I gotta win- I gotta win Blackjack three times with three hits or more. Which honestly doesn't sound too bad. Let's fucking do this. See, one thing Lupin never told you is he's a really good gambler. Alright, here's 60. Bet that shit. Alright, let's start. Bets are closed. Okay, I got two. Uh, I got either 13... Or... Three. That's a thirteen. Hit me. Yep. Card. A nineteen. Hey, let's go. Anyway. Hit me. Card. A seventeen. Hit me. Give me a card. I ain't what looking at <clears throat> That's what I'm fucking That's talking nine. about. Give me a card. That's what I'm talking well, about, baby. We start off with a good hand. A fourteen. Give me a card. Give me a card. You busted, bro. You busted, bitch. That's, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Sure wish I had your luck today. Okay. I won't be lucky forever, but... Alright, let's do my favorite number. Seventy. I'm done taking bets. Let's start the round. Okay. 14. Okay, 7 or lower, and I can win this. 14. Hit me. I'll take a card. 15. Hit me. Card, please. There's a 17. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what are y'all thinking? Should we, should we go for it? Should we go for it? Uh. I want to say... Move. Shut up, don't fucking rush me, bitch. Don't fucking rush me. I'll fucking shoot you. I'm gonna stand. A 17. I'm good here. Oh, what the fuck? Many. Why didn't you fucking hit? Why didn't you fucking hit, you asshole? Huh? Why didn't you fucking hit? Were you not good enough to hit? Alright, uh, lucky number 80. Uh, we got a queen. Four. Fourteen. Uh, 14. Hit me. Hit me. 
boss. Bitch! God damn it. Fucking fuck you. 14, fuck you, healer. Where'd you come? Where did he come from? 16. Sorry, you went over. That's some rotten luck right there. Shit. Why does he sound like Stone Why does he sound like Stone Cold Steve Austin? Hey my Hey Arthur Morgan. I hope you don't mind if I join you in some uh blackjack. Can I get a hell yeah, brother? All right, three. Okay, no more bets. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, ten, thirteen. Okay, I got, I gotta have an eight or lower. Hit me. Yep. Card. A sixteen. Hit me. I'll take your card. There's a seventeen. Stay. I'll stand. That's seven. Hit me. See, I'm telling you, doesn't he sound like fucking Stone Cold? Hit me. Sixteen. Nope. That's it. There's an eight. Got a twelve. Look at that. So, what talking about? One more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> Real fun, eh? I know it. One Play more time, baby. Bits. One more time. All right, let's start. Bets are closed. Okay, I got 12. Need a 9 or lower to win this. Hit me. Give me a card. 19. Stay. That's a 13. Come on, come on. Seven. Okay, seven. There's oh, a seven. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Woo, real good. Excuse me. Come back to him. I'm so happy I won. I could just celebrate. I won't be missed much. Hell yeah, guys. Woo! I won! I won, chat! I won! I won! I won! Hell yeah, baby! Ah! Motherfuckers can't kill me! I'm a fucking immortal! Got a little something for you motherfuckers. Check us out. Alright, Parmesan, get us out of here. Come on, Parmesan, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, girl, get me out of here. Ah, shit. God damn it. Parmesan, get up, get up, get up. All right, vamos, vamos, vamos. Let me put my hat on. Fucker shot it off. Hey, I'm, I just got really excited. You know how it be. Sometimes it's just you, just... you just get really excited, and that's all. There's nothing wrong with getting really excited. It happens to the best of us. Why do I keep ramming into trees? I'm gonna get my horse... I'm gonna get my poor horse brain damage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Parmesan. I'm sorry. We need some beans. Or beef. So yeah, last we left off, I was basically killing uh, a vampire, and I, I took his knife. Check it out. I got a knife from a vampire. Where's it at? Where's it at? There you go. Look at this. Let me let me let me hold it. Let me hold it so you so you guys can see it. Look at this. Look at the, look at that knife. It's like a it's like a a dagger from ob Oblivion. I also got a hatchet, so I can do shit like this. I can throw this thing at people. See? <laughs> Give me it. Give me it. Okay. Shit, did I get- did I get it stuck? Oh, no, 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 please don't tell me I got it stuck. Oh, fuck, I think I got it stuck. Shit, shit, shit. Arthur? 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 Can you get it? Alright, there we go. I got scared. I thought I got it stuck. You all right, girl? Yeah. But yeah, I have a. I have now a. I have. I have a hatchet that I can throw at people. It's yeah. gonna be fucking awesome. Ah. So I have a challenge I have to do for today. Where I, since I recently unlocked the survivalist, uh, the survivalist here, I have to work on that. 
one of the requirements I need to do is here. Let me show you guys so you, you guys can see. I need to basically craft uh, some arrows. One of them being is this dynamite arrow, which isn't really hard. You just literally stick a stick of dynamite on an, on an arrow and that's it. It's not fucking rocket science. I'm just putting an explosive on an arrow. Here, let me... Actually, I could probably do it right now. Let me just do this real quick. There it is. Okay, dynamite arrows. Yep. Do you think I could hit that boat from here? Okay, then. There's a guy in a boat. I wanna actually... It's, a, it's kind of bad luck to kill a seabird. Let me... There you go. Did you guys ever see the lighthouse? Apparently that's where that's from. You don't kill a seabird. I don't know the I don't know the theory. I don't know the lore behind that, but yeah, apparently that's a thing. Okay, let me make this quick. And there you go. Now we have a we increased our survivalist skill. And while I'm at it, let me build a- let me make a couple explosive rounds. Alright, good. <laughs> Why did they just kick somebody? I don't know. Hmm. So, I got a lot of- I got a good amount of stuff to do today because uh, last, last time we streamed, I was basically just doing a bunch of bullshit. And I said I was going to do, like, more, like, story-focused missions, which I will. I want to just do this Albert Mason one first. And also, too, I found out one of the missions that I was trying to get done, which is the Dinosaur Bones mission. We can only technically beat until we, like, actually beat the game. Because there's, there's a, in some parts of the, of the southern map, of the southern part of the map, we can only access when we play as John. So uh, I won't really focus on that dinosaur bone one. Like, if you can see on the map, there is like bones and stuff like that that we did like mark off and stuff. Here, let me, let me show you one. Like, we got a dinosaur bone right here. That's like the only ones I've been doing. I, I, I think I did like 15 in total. 15 out of like 35, out of like 30, so. I'm gonna do those over the over the over the entirety of this like of series and stuff. I will be doing some like uh, some like uh like post game stuff. Like I said, I don't know if I if I when I ever do whenever I do like open world stuff, I want to do post game stuff. What the fuck was that? What? Okay, come on, come on, Parmesan, you're tough. Parmesan. See why? Why was that hard, Parmesan? You're not stupid. What? What? Fucking. What is it? What? What, what is it? Was it a snake? Yeah, it's a snake. Don't go fucking near the snake. God damn you, stupid bastard! Why do you go near the fucking snake, Parmesan? I don't trust that my horse- I have like level 4 bond with my horse, but yet for some reason my horse is just always leaving me behind, even when she's not being spooked. Like real shit, she'll just like knock- like we were in the swamps the other day, and she just fucking knocked me off. She- like for no reason, she just bucked me off. And not because like the night folk showed up or anything like that, no, she just did that because she wanted to be a fucking asshole. I have a dickhead for a horse, so that's, that's not fun. Bastard, like, this bastard just likes being rude.
Okay, I, 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 I'm gonna be honest, I did not see that coming. Come on, get clear. <laughs> First of all, you you spawned in front of me. I can see why this horse hates me, because I just ran her into a stagecoach. Here you go, girl. It's all right. Just stab her in the head with it. I gotta get more of those horse revivers, though. I So I finally did learn how to make those, which I'm kind of happy about. But man, are they fucking... Man, are they expensive to make. Like, I mean, I get it, yeah, it's supposed to, like, revive your horse from your death. But still, though, come on, man. Oh, let's talk to Mr. Albert. Or Mason. I don't know why I called him Mr. Albert. So, you're still alive. <laughs> Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? That might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> I mean, you could get trampled, though. That's that's something to worry about. But don't worry about them. I doubt horse kicks are very deadly. It's not like they can cause, like, permanent brain damage or anything like that. It's not like they can kill other ho It's not like their kicks can kill other horses. Nah! seen a video where a guy got kicked in the head by a horse and he just dropped <laughs> like he was done. It just looked like he went round for round with fucking Mike Tyson. <laughs> the way that man dropped, it was like, Jesus Christ. Come on. Well, should I just fire a couple shots in there and that's all that works? Yeah, probably. Make sure I don't lose any of the horses. What the fuck happened to all my horses? I was say, what happened to all the stamina? But then I was like, we're focusing on the other ones. Nah, I feel like if I start firing the gun, it's gonna, it's gonna break the, it's gonna break formation, so. Hey, hey, go! It's like when you're herding sheep where you can actually- Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I can't get over the fact that when I was herding sheep the other day, I accidentally like shot three of them. I don't know how that- I don't know how you accidentally shoot something, but you know what I- Anything's possible when you're- when you're this stupid. you a genius you're too kind <laughs> but how are the uh, photos coming along oh amazing here i have a print of the wolves before they tried to eat us hmm. it's for you that's real fine well thank you take care mr mason you too sir you too That's a that's a fucking nice shot though. For eighteen ninety standards, not bad. I gotta fucking sneeze, but I can't. Ah, ever ever hate that where like you you just feel pressure in the sinuses and like you want to release it but you can't. 
that's what I'm feeling right now. I think I just like simplified how a sneeze is described. You, you, you get what I'm implying. Ha. Huh. I think there was like a. Fuck Mikey, he can die. Let's go, let's go hang out with our boy Lenny. Lenny is my boy. Lenny's like the, Lenny's like the little brother we all wanted. I would be, I would be terribly upset if anything were to happen to Lenny at any point in the game. I doubt that Rockstar would ever hurt Lenny. He doesn't just, Lenny, Lenny's too nice for this game. They would never treat the good people bad. Never. By the way, I need to check that survivalist thing. Let me see. Let's check. Alright, let me go. Bandit. Gotta rob two stage. Okay, rob two coaches. I can do that. Treasure found. Gotta look for that one. I'm honestly actually working on that treasure fetch. Huh? I'm sorry, what? What do you... I, I won blackjack like three times. With more hits. Okay, still working on this one. Still working on that one. Uh, that one I'm working on fire. Oh, I can do that right now. Do I still have any animal fat? Uh, no, I gotta go kill a pig. That's fun. Yep. I'm not gonna lie, some of these survivalists, like, like requirements are kind of easy. This one, there was one for the hunter where I had to basically just call for the animal and then immediately shoot him in the face. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of funny just whistling at something and just shooting it afterwards. Because Arthur will be like, hey, guess what? And he was Wah! just immediately hit in the face with a buckshot. Not seen any pigs or anything like that, so I'm gonna. But we are gonna go in an area that has a lot of them, so. I gotta keep an eye out for cougars, though, because, like, low key, I need to start killing those with bows. I think I need to kill five to increase my master hunt. My master hunter. Hold up, something's going on over here. What's he. <laughs> He's up. Yeah, why not? You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. Uh, What'd you say? Well, I don't... Let me make sure my uh my dead eye is good. Find out. Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? Alright. Alright. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Okay? Go. Remember one time I did this too early and it, it for some reason it accroed these challengers and they were just like, oh you're you're some cheating son of a bitch. Let me start shoot let me start shooting you. Oh, did I see the I thought I saw his bullet. I saw, I saw his bullet travel before. Oh shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What in the hell? I said I'm sorry. I beat him with the money. <laughs> I saw that, I beat him with the money. This is a nice hat. This is a nice hat though. I'm gonna take it. Gotta hide the evidence. He was never seen again. Nobody will ever discover the body. You gotta get out of here before somebody might notice. Why do I have a fucking trilby? 
When the fuck did I get a trilby? The fuck did I get that? Same ass hat. If I'm a cowboy, I want I want there to be a wide brim. I don't want I don't want there to be no tiny ass one. Everybody knows if you have a tiny brim, you have a tiny dick. Everybody knows that. It's a it's the laws of the cowboy. Gotta make sure I don't hit those guys because I already have like I have enough low honor. I, I gotta I really gotta work on that, I'm not gonna lie. Is this your first time playing the game? No, not really. I think I've played this like six times already. I don't know. Let me switch to the incinerary. Let me get off Parmesan real quick. <laughs> Just run into a wall. <laughs> I can't wait till we beat the game so we can use an uh, explosive buckshot. That's gonna be fucking fun. I love using all these like specialty bullets and stuff, they're all fun. I think my favorites are either the explosive rounds or the dynamite arrows. Just anything that packs a punch, it's fun to use. That's why I'm I'm really looking forward to when we get explosive buckshot. I know though, sadly, we don't get that until we unlock the southern section of the map, which we don't get until the end of the game. Which that's okay. This means we're gonna enjoy our time with Arthur a little bit more. I mean, we got to. If you played the game, you know why I'm saying that. <laughs> All right. Let's go see our boy Lenny. Lenny! Come here. Come here. We gotta spend as much time as we can with Lenny. Arthur. What's up, buddy? Kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway... The old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. It's just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, what could go wrong? It's worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Hey. Good evening, Arthur. I think before this mission, I probably should have, I probably should have stocked up on some ammunition. Oh, well, oh, actually, can, yeah, I can, I can just go right here. <laughs> what am I saying? There's an ammunition lock area right here that we can go to. 
Uh, how are we doing on everything? So far, so good. Ready when you are. Okay, let's keep going then. Easy. Get up, let's go. Give me a second. Jeez. Come on. It's this way. On me. I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Oh. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You would uh, know. What did you say? Why do people you ask you? They see us rise Why do people like ask you when it's your first time playing a game most of and leave when it's not? Honestly, uh, I guess it's just maybe they want to see somebody's first time experience in a game. Honestly, Spoonful, is like, it doesn't really bother me. Like, I get it. Some people some people want to see, like, people's first time reaction to things, and that's fine. But, like, at the end of the day, for me, if somebody would, like, maybe it's probably not a, this isn't a place for them. I mean, because, like, 95% of the things we'd be playing is, like, games I've already played. Because I just want to chat and like talk about a game and stuff like that. I get it. Again, it's it's like you want to you want to experience the first time play. You want to see somebody's first playthrough and stuff. That's cool. But I'm always of the opinion where it's like, hey, if you enjoy the streamer more, I guess it does. Than the than the game itself. That that's cool. I get it though. This person's probably never heard of me or something like that. So this is their first time seeing me. So. It's cool. If if they want to leave because it's not my first time, that's fine. I don't. I can't really force people to be in my chat if they want to or not. If so, if I'm not concerned, you don't have to be concerned for me. Thank. I appreciate that, but don't worry. I don't really take it as an offense if somebody wants to leave. If if I say it like, oh no, it's not my first time playing. Plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before. I think this is when I, um. Of course. I, what you call it, um. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old. I was gonna say, I think this is when I could start, um. Wait, when? No, okay, never mind. I'm thinking of a different mission. There's a mission where we get, like, kidnapped and stuff, and we have to fight our way out. I think, oh wait, I just realized that might be with Micah, surprisingly, which is a mission we haven't done because fuck. I want to see how far I can go in the game before we can we, we can allow Micah back into the camp. I feel like after a certain point, they're going to be like, okay, you gotta, Arthur, you gotta go hang out with your buddy Micah, go hang out with him. Go, go. It's like, it's like that family member that just wants you to hang out with the cousin you don't like, or it's just like, oh, go hang out with your cousins. Like, no, fuck Daryl. Like this. Fuck him, he sucks. Yeah, I don't care to. I caught Daryl sniffing sniffing people's socks. It was weird. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Probably kill this boar so I can get its fat. We need more explosive rounds. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. Oh, You're I think I, I think I could uh. Right behind. This could count as my challenge too. Keep our distance. 
Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. <laughs> put your, put your gun away, Arthur. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to tail him. He's like, ah, ah, you never know. Some might break out, so I need to shoot him just in case. I think I see something. Into the avenue. Let's see. Trees. I might know this place. Oh, yeah, it's shady, Old Bill. Boys here real tough. Loki, probably one of my favorite camp locations. Big plantation house. <laughs> Must be shady. I don't know. I, I like. I like how it's just a. Uh, I like how it's just a um. It's just. It's literally just a mansion in the middle of the woods, or in this case, the swamp. So I'm gonna pick my favorite guns real quick. Lamenta. Yeah, why not? So I can save on. I can save on ammunition. Okay, she's clean. For some reason, I was about to say, let me ma let me make sure to maintain my let me make sure to maintain my bow. I mean, technically, bows can like bows can lose its function after a while. I'm trying to clean my guns. I want to make sure they're ready to go. God, Lenny, what is with you young? What is with you young men and always being impatient? Oh my God, I don't come on, father. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Ew, gross. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'm too old. I'm too young to be talking like that. Fuck that. Like, hey, this ain't my gun. What the fuck? Hold up. And the double action I use is a silver gun. Hang on a moment. There you go. There you go. Look at that. I probably got gun oil in there, so it's fine. Getting in the cover? I, mean, I could just use the binoculars. I, I, could, I could just use the binoculars. I'll wait on your scent. Hey, we came all this way. Alright, fine, I'll go get my fucking sniper. God. Damn! Jesus Christ, Lenny. Arthur, go get your sniper. Arthur, go get your sniper. Okay, Lenny. God, get off the fucking back. I want, I want a bold action right now, man. I don't know when we get it. Actually, I think we get it. Wait a second. I'm gonna do a quick Google search. Ba 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 ba. Bolt action. Rifle. Wait, there's a location? What? Where, where the fuck do I get that at? Yeah, because, like, Loki is my favorite rifle because it holds a lot of ammunition. Okay, uh, Javier and let's kill Silent Ray 2, Bounty Hunters, Erlani, discovered. Bold action can be acquired in Chapter 2. There's a specific encounter you must encounter in Cross Lemoyne, where specifically you mess with a man taken to a doctor after you need to wait a while, and there will be three in game days for the man. Oh, I helped this guy. Okay, I have helped this guy. I did help this guy off camera. Alright. Okay, no okay. So we may get the we may get that bold action pretty soon. These explosive rounds, why not? Down by the road. We do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? Is there anybody there's some people over here? God damn, Lenny, give me like two seconds. You got man covering the house. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. 
We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I wonder if I could get I'm this done with four explosive four. rounds. Going in, kid. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. <laughs> you got this, kid. Don't worry, Lenny. We got you back. We got enough explosive rounds to have some fun. Okay, got some guys coming out from the bunkers. To discuss the merits of glory and interest you in eternity. Praise be my people. Don't overdo it. Now, uh, are you? Have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? Enough of them. The moment he points the gun up, we shoot him. Praise be, or a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you darkness! He said the bad word. You well, shouldn't have said the bad word. That's what you get. You don't say the you don't say the bad word, chat. Let's go give Lenny his assistance. All right, kid, we got you back. All right, I got you back, Lenny. Got two guys right here. Go for a headshot. I love how when uh, somebody fires their gun at you, you can hear the bullet whizzing by if you're in Deadeye. That's so cool. Okay, hold up. Oh fuck, there's somebody with the there's somebody with the machine gun up there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get this guy with my hatchet. Bitch! Fucking domed him. I touch me. I say you could touch me. Fucking Jesus Christ! Atta boy, kid. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Bunny, I'm proud of you. Alright, where's my hat? My hat back. My hat back. My hat back. Nobody takes Artie. Nobody takes Artie's hat. This one looks good. Thank you. I kill any man who takes my hat. Let's see what we got here. Damn! 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 Damn, Lenny! Look at you taking charge. Stop it! Don't nag me. Ooh. New rifles. Speaking. Oh. Right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, uh, come on. Let's go. 
Hold up, let me take. I want to take one. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. I want to take one. Yeah. I got an idea. Let me deal with this explosive real quick. Sorry, Lenny, would you mind moving your head, please? Gotta make sure they don't have anything to use against us. Hold up! Parmesan got hit. I don't, want, I don't want Parmesan to be hurt. He's my best friend. Come on, Parmesan, keep up. Come on, girl. You're supposed to be the fastest. Be racist. Okay, first of all, I didn't do that. That was Lenny. Lenny shot the horse. I'm looking, all right. I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. Boy, oh boy. I just want to say, game, I wasn't the one who shot the horse, that was Lenny. So, like, uh, don't get on me about that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth brag. Worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Yeah, well, so do I. That's my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But, then not but nothing. Mean Dutch, and everyone who counts. We know mm -hmm. what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Sadly. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. I, I wish I wish they were better changes, but they're they're not. Really not. I'm sorry, Letty. At least uh, for now, we can enjoy our time with them. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Why don't we let him drive? Arthur, Lenny, coming back. He said that with he said that with his full chest out too. Good for you, kid. I'm gonna take that. Right? I'm gonna keep one just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> oh, see, I'm telling you, he's like a he's like a little brother. Anytime, Arthur. But I'm at least happy that we now have a uh, we now have a bolt action. Okay. So what's available that we can do right now? I knew this day would come. Hey, Bill. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine for now. Yep. Should buy us a bit of time, I hope. Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamp. Stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden. Nah, I'm not doing fuck. I'm not doing clean shaving. The fuck. You think I'm gonna ruin this? Beautiful face, hell no. If I could, I would kiss it. I don't give a shit. I don't care what people say. 
give him a big old kiss on the forehead. Go, ah. So far south, Arthur. I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. Yeah. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. Yo, yo, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. She was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, Miss. T Tilly, you Tilly, no Tilly. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Tilly. I, I know you're very scared about what's going on, but somebody insulted Letty. Letty, come here. Who hurt my boy? You okay, Lenny? I'm fine. Just ignore that son of a bitch. Lenny, anybody give you trouble? You tell, you tell your big brother Arthur. Protect you, man. I promise. I promise I will. Susan. Good morning, Arthur. Right, let me go talk to Bill. Bill thought it would be funny to throw people, huh? Hey, living high on the hog now, sir. That's good news. Yes, sir. Fine times for us all. Where's that stinky son of a bitch? Where's Bill at? Where's Bill at? Bill thought it would be funny to hit people. You don't hit you, you don't hit your brother. Go check on Jack. Jack, you okay? Morning, Jack. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. Right, what's that son of oh say it? Hey, hey Mrs. Is. Adler. What's with the badge? You switch sides. You look pissed off. I would never betray you, Mrs. Adler. Okay. Checking you're all right. Sure. I always want to be on any side you're on, Mrs. Adler. That's all I'm saying. All right. Good morning. Nervy little fella, ain't you? Wouldn't you be? I mean, it's, dude, all we did was threaten to cut off your balls. That's all. I've been a pussy. Hello. I've been a pussy, Karen. So what? We try to cut off your balls. Stop being a pussy. What else is there? We do that every Tuesday for we do that with every Tuesday. Last week we did it to Javier. Javier likes when we pretend to cut his balls off. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking Morgan. about? Mr. Morgan. I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. My best sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Oh, okay. Mm. Hold up. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. I wanna show you something, chat. I I, I wanna show you something. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. So, so, I want you, I want you to take a look at something, okay? Morning, Mr. Morgan. No slacking, Miss Jackson. I, I want to show, I want to show you something, chat. Just, just follow me, follow me, okay? All right, let's go, let's go to the ledger real quick. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. All right. Take a look at this. Take a look. Take a look at the ledger. What does that say? 84 cents. $50. $1.45. Cents. $1.50. Cents. $1.50. Cents. $1.50. $1.00. He said I didn't give any money. That lying bitch. I gave him like $500 at one point. It's not my fault you're terrible at money. All of this shit was bought because of me. So, Miss Grimshaw, I swear to God, you better get off my dick, you old bitch. I swear to God, I'm gonna put a fucking bullet between your tits. There, Miss Grimshaw, get off my ass. Mr. Morgan, I noticed you didn't. Ah, shut up, bitch. Hey, Molly. Morning. Good morning. Oh, there you are. Sure. It was here. He had it all the time. Mr. Miller, he'll never let you down. It's so simple. Even you'd get it, Arthur. Well, thank you. What matters? What's always mattered? Surviving. The result, not the means, which I guess is sort of the same thing. We'll survive. We'll keep moving forward. Maybe we'll leave the fuck it thinks he's the Robinsons. What the do fuck? What? Give it time. Look at the birds. Look at the beasts. 
copy what the best ones do. I got a beast in my pants. I look at that from time to time. I call him Jeremy. Jeremy does it. Jeremy likes to hang out. You know how it be. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to. Let's go talk to Dickhead number twenty-seven. Well, let me make sure I'm packed for this trip. This is gonna get cold. Let's go over outfits real quick. I'm ready to go. I can't wait to get that fucking gambler kills. Hey, Jose. Jose was coughing earlier, and I was I got concerned for him, and I thought he was I thought he was dying. We'll live to see at least a few more days. I hope I hope you make it to at least like forty five. See, see, the funny thing is nobody tells you this, but everyone's actually under the age, and everyone's like in their twenties. It's just that during this time, like life sucks so much that you age really rapidly. Like take a take a Reverend Swanson here for example. He's actually he's actually a he's actually tw he's a twelve year old boy. <laughs> he just he's been drinking too much. That's why he looks like that. That's why he looks like fucking Reed Richards. I'm sure. Big count. Hey, don't boy. How you doing, Parmesan? How you? How's my girl doing? I got, got, got a little something for you. There you go. Hey, girl. All right, let's go see what. Let's go see. Oh wait, never mind. We don't have to talk to Dickhead. We can. We can talk to Dickhead number three, Bill. Arthur, we need to talk to you. Want to explain to me why you threw Lenny? What is it? We got something cooking. You might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's- What are you bit. looking mad at? That wasn't the fuck fault. is Karen looking mad at things. for? Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? Because I'm not a fat idiot trouble. like you are, Bill. It's just one of them things. <laughs> I'm just it's a, a fat point. dumbass. There's a difference. Very good point. Well, what do y'all want me to do? And Karen here is a fat drunk. There's a difference between the three of us. You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if you're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. What the fuck Just happened to Bill? What? Whoa, Bill, Bill, case, Bill. What's going on with your model there? Rags, I'm gonna be performing. <laughs> look at Bill. What is wrong with him? So Bill, <laughs> Bill, you got all shiny for a second there. What's going on, Bill? Oh, Arthur, you don't understand. My rarity is going up. <laughs> All right. You know, what'd they do to you? Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. I don't really want to. Money. Okay. Gentlemen? I don't really want to, Strauss. I always thought this now? costume was pretty cool for Karen, Karen though. On in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, Basically, I shoot the shit out of people. Do I have okay. an Oh wait, do I have enough? Ah uh... oh, no, I should have I should have built some explosive ammo before I did this. And eh, it's cool. I got I got enough uh, incinerary buckshot, so we should be cool. I mean, actually, no, I don't think I can do it during a mission. I was gonna try to craft some bullets, but you can't craft the uh, ammo when you're riding a horse. Only when you stop. That's it. Oh, it can go wrong. 
That's that that's cool, I guess. Yes, the drunk is gonna show us how it's done. You are. I was. Yeah, because you are a drunken harlot. Like nine times. I'm not. I'm, like I'm not even doing this. I'm not even saying this to just be an asshole to Karen. Like every time we see her, she has a bottle on her. Or she's like wandering around like shit face, and it's like, lady, you need help. I don't know, anytime Bill make deals with people, it's probably not the smartest idea ever. I'm out there putting in the work the same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. No, you've just been drinking with them. I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of iron in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Mort. Okay, let me make sure I'm ready to go for this. I'm actually gonna use the the Schofield. The Schofield. What did I say? Sco. I love how Arthur's like, why are we going back there? It's like, Arthur, we've been there like many times during the gameplay. I was actually gonna rip you about why the fuck you just threw a Lenny on the floor. You don't, you don't do that to my little brother. That's my boy. I should have brought some gloves. Yeah. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks have. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many. I mean, Bill, you didn't you didn't encounter the Jersey Devil. Let's be honest. If you were to encounter the Jersey Devil, you probably would see some crazy shit. Says, mine says like something Dutch would love, like a heist that that w that occurred under his fucking nose. Yeah, it's uh, he's gonna love that. Keep 
Keep it down now. We're here. Uh, having a little bit of lucky corned beef, that's all. Okay, let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. Ship might go south, so just you never know. Let me make sure my gun's clean. Yeah, go to work. Of course. I was trying to make sure my gun's clean. I don't know why. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. All right, she's ready to be fired. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? The drunken harlot. So which one? Eh, do harlot. Uh, it's more believable. You know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. <laughs> now where is he? You're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's got him real down. I'm glad I'm glad nobody can see us out the window. <laughs> Just three dudes armed to the teeth, ready to go. Ooh, that was a clean that was a clean throw. Alright. Okay, the door's unlocked. Come on, talk. Oh, 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 what do we got here? Oh, oh, open it. Oh, oh. Oh. Hurry up. I, I'm going as fast as I can. Too slow. Move. 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 Sir, sir, move. I'm in. I'm surprised this guy. Make sure the shoot I'm surprised this guy doesn't try to fucking like lock us in. Come here. Open the lock boxes now. I, the, the, the manager does that. I, God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. All right, well, let me here. Let me crack them because yeah, it's probably faster. I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you talking to, Bill? I will fucking put a bullet in your dick. Don't, 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 don't fucking talk to me like that. Uh, give me a second. How are you getting off? Going as fast as I can. 
This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Are there people out there? Me too. Boys, need to move this along. Where I got this. No, don't let him go. How's it looking there? Good. Oh, yeah. Don't count your chickens just yet. We're getting there. Few more minutes. There we go. Nice. Nice. The fuck are they shooting for? Why are they shooting people? Come on, come on. No, but real shit, why are they shooting people? I don't know. I thought we were trying to be quiet. They're over here fucking, like, unloading bullets on people. What the fuck, man? You're not helping our case. What are you doing? Why are you shooting people? Look, I want to see what else they got in here. Correct. We got you on all signs. All right, let me help the boys out. Hey, fellows, how's it going? She probably could have got away, like Loki. <laughs> e God damn. Let's move. I'm sorry. Who died? You attacked? I, I did not. First of all, it's not my fault. His dumbass ran into fire. See, this is why I call Bill a fat idiot because he does shit like that. He runs into actual fire. Let's do this. Nice. Alright, Bill, don't run into the fire this time. Run, Bill, 
Bill, stop running into the fire! I hate Bill so fucking much. I'm so glad we're gonna kill him in Red Dead 1. Fuck. Alright, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll use my standard rounds. Because for some reason, Bill's too much of a dumbass. I tried to shoot his hand. Damn it. I, sw I swear to God, Bill, you are a fucking idiot. I hate you so much, Bill, you dumb fuck. God, I hate you. I hate you sometimes, Bill. You No, I can't do it because Bill's dumbass is gonna get fucking burned because he's a fucking idiot. He's a fucking mongoloid. Let's see if Bill's dumb enough to still get attacked. I'm surprised their dumb at his dumbass hasn't got shot yet. Let's go, Parmesan. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to calm Parmesan down while in the middle of a fire fight. <laughs> oh my god. Son of a bitch. Son of a right. bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. Oh, wow. That's so fucking stupid. Oh. I got so mad I turned into fucking Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, wow. That's so crazy. Oh, it's like a freaking angel. Let me go this way. See, my bad, my bad, original gangster. I didn't do. Barbershawn, do something to make it feel better. Remember though that my horse is faster than theirs, meaning it's better. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Poor man got dragged. Okay, I see three guys over there. Here, let me switch to the rifle.
All right, nice. Fun. So we got somebody coming on the right side. Jesus fucking Christ! That poor horse! Oh my god! Okay, we got a train coming. Let's try to beat it. It's like that one mission in GTA, the first, the first mission in GTA 5. You gotta, you gotta beat the train. See, in this timeline, we actually beat the train. In the other timeline, uh, they hit. The train gets hit by the car, or the heart the car gets hit by the train. So yeah, I, I, I know, uh, I know GTA Five. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is down. Fuck, I forgot. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this shit. No, why can't we just leave that poor family alone? God damn. Like, I feel bad. We already beat their tuberculosis ridden husband. Now we're gonna go back. Oh, give us the money. Man, I feel bad. It's like, don't take loans, I guess. I don't know. Especially from gangsters. Hey, depressing family, guess what? I'm here to take more money. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? Should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. I'm trying to remember if this is the end of chapter two or, or chapter three, I'm 
Sorry, I say Catholic school. Damn, that's how much we took? Holy shit! Not bad. Don't want to sit on those rifles too long. Sure thing. Well, handle it quick, please. It's lucky at least us. Let's see what other cool stuff we got. Uh, some horse stimulant. I got a cigar. It's all my my knickknacks. Ladies, gentlemen, a moment. I just want to say thank you to Miss Karen, Bill, Lenny, Archer. They are doing their jobs. The rest of us, but we should hang our heads in shame. They remembered to rob the goddamn bank. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some cheese. Rest of us are slipping. Pride. Never forget the pride. It was fun going out and working with you, Arthur. I've seen too many friends get killed to see this quite so fun. Yeah. I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. Uh, no. I mean, at the end of the day, we still die. I mean, we gotta remember, too, it's like, we have Arthur's perspective on this, and then also Karen's. Where Karen, she's, like, new to this, so she's like, oh, man, it's so thrilling and stuff like that. Like, this is so cool, and Arthur's just like, bro, I lost too many people. <laughs> Caught me robbing from a store and I ran for my life. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. I don't know why I'm expecting, like, I don't know why I was expecting her to be like, oh, can you go pick up this for me? Like, yeah, I guess. I'll do a fetch quest or something. Uh, Uncle, are you aware that you're floating in midair? What are you talking about, Arthur? You're damn floating. Your boat, you're breaking the goddamn laws of physics. How you doing that? Alright. I think we've wasted enough. I think we've done enough. Now we gotta go. We gotta go see dumbass over there. I'll be honest, I really don't want to hang out with Micah because he sucks, man. He smells like sourdough. Told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here, what they want? I have no idea. Did they see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm hmm. What the fuck are these boys doing out here? Yeah, maybe it's because they heard the. the they, we did just do a big heist, so yeah, I guess that would make sense for why. They're around, they're around this area and stuff like that because they just started. Oh, the fucking Vanderlins literally just did a, literally just did this crazy ass fucking heist. Let's go find them. And I hear they're like posted out near this area. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense. We gotta hear the raiders, or what is that? Is that William? What is that? Hey, jackass! You need to leave. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you were. I thought you were a friendly fellow. I thought you were William, because William has like cool stuff like that. 
Listen, buddy, I'm leaving. Alright? Hey, oh. Why do they do this? Why do they always do this shit? Oh, shit I missed. I missed. I missed. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Anyways, uh, let's, uh, let's keep going. You all right, girl? Okay, for one thing, I want to see something real quick. Give me a moment. And that being, I gotta use a restroom. Give me a sec. That just hit me. I've been drinking a lot of water right now.
All right, sorry for taking too long. Let's uh, get back into it. So one thing I'm going to do is I actually might look for some... Uh, I might do some... Uh, bah, 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 give me a second. I want to I want to get some more side stuff like uh, some more some more hats and stuff like that. I think if I remember correctly, there's a pirate hat over here. Which, if that's the case, we can dress up like Captain Jack Sparrow. It'd be kind of fun. I like I like dressing up like uh, Johnny Depp. It's, it's cool. All right, give me a sec, real quick. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What is that one? Okay. I realize there's like so much shit over here. Jesus Christ. There's a hat here. And there's also a little trinket over there. Okay. Let's go check it out. It's a pirate hat. I mean, I want to dress up like fucking Captain Jack Sparrow. That'd be awesome. Oh wait, 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 wait. Is it, what kind of boar is that? Is it, if that's a if that's a three star one, we can get we need it. That is a two star, but you know what? Hey, that's fine because I do need a fat so I can make some more uh, explosive rounds. I'm gonna use the bolt action. It's fine if we fuck up the belts on these ones because they're only good. God damn, did I really not fucking hit him? All right, fucking damn. All right, he's not gonna get too far because he is. He has been shot, so. I'm not really too concerned about the quality of these types of pelts because again I just want the I just want the fat, that's it. I'm still pissed. I haven't came across any cougars when I was on the northeast side. The north northwest side, not northeast side. I don't give a fuck about on her right now. Okay then, girl. Yep. How far did it go? Was that it right there? I think that's it right there. Come here! I just need to get caught. I don't give a fuck if it takes too many shots. You know, I'm wondering something. If I hit something with an explosive round from the exact type of gun, would that fuck up my pelt? I feel like it might. Cause that'd be like if I just threw a stick of dynamite at an animal and be like, okay, there it is, it's dead. Which I won't lie, I have done at one point. It was funny. I got attacked by a grizzly bear at one point. And the only thing I had on me was like some explosives, so I was just like, alright, let me throw it in, let me time it properly. Fucking grizzly bears are scary, man. I don't, I don't like fucking with those things. And the worst part is they always spawn in like the cra in the scariest spots. Just places you don't fucking expect it and they're just there. It's like, why are you here? It's like a crazy X. It's like, what, what the fuck are you here for? Alright, but I got my fat, so I'm happy. Also, too, I need to I need to craft an arrow with it. Let's see, ammo, fire, there you go. Then the rest of these will be explosive. Catch a fish while in a boat in the bayou and stand and while standing. Okay, that's not, really. That's that's the challenge. That that's the challenge. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, just get a boat and just get a boat in the bayou. That's it. There's like one I think on the edge of the bayou. You know, 
Sometimes I just I, I just sit and watch myself do stupid shit and I realize yeah. You know, I'm not really the brightest person in the world. I do shit like that. That just, and that just reminds me of, of why I'm not the brightest in the world. That's all. Lupin likes to be realistic with himself. So I don't really like lying to myself and being like, "Oh, I'm perfect." No, I know I'm. I know I'm dumb as shit. I don't give a fuck. But you know what? At the end of the day, Lupin's happy. He's dumb, but he's happy. That's what matters. I got a boat here. I'm gonna take it. I'm sure Parmesan can follow me. As long as I'm not on her while she's in the water, I think she can follow me. Alright. Unlike this, this is how Parmesan drowns. It's actually not what I'm thinking about. It's probably possible, so let me go over here. Come on, girl. Come on. Wait here, girl. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous about having her trek through the water, so I don't really want to. I don't really want to kill the rare horse. If I have a boat, I don't really. I don't really need to like put my horse in danger. There's a fucking snake there, though. Look at that. I want this pirate hat. It's gonna look fucking fancy as hell. I'm gonna look like a cool motherfucker in it. Okay, so the shipwreck is like somewhere over here. Was that? I'm not trying to carry Burdock. I see. Fuck is it? Oh, it's more downward. A little more over here. East area. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'll give you a pirate hat. I'm gonna look fucking cool as shit in it. What the fuck? There's iguanas here? Wait, this whole fucking time, I didn't have to go to Guarm to kill these things? I forgot that I forgot there's just random there's just random fucking tropical like animals here. Good to know. I don't have a varmint rifle on me, but now I now I can I didn't realize I can now get the material kit. Or the material satchel. Fucking go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So what we got here. Now let's check this lockbox. What it what is in there? Pirate room. Ah, uh, I don't really need that anymore. Mostly due to the fact that my uh, my health is already my stamina is already maxed out. Well, as much as like oh, there's there's the hat. I see it. <laughs> I'm a pirate. <laughs> cool. Alas, me hearties. <laughs> there be cholera foot. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Nice. Got me a fuck. 
got me a fucking pirate hat. I know technically this is more of a, like, one of those revolutionary hats, but you know what, hey, it's cool. I gotta be like my boy Jack Sparrow. Okay, so let's take a look at some more of this, uh, of these, uh, there's one more thing down here. You know what, I just realized it's probably not a good idea to have a uh, Parmesan try to swim it. Yeah, I just realized that right now. Probably not the smartest thing to do. Yeah, because I gotta get to this island down here. I know the realism buffs are like, oh, why, why is that not a fucking fire can stay lit in the water? I don't know, dickhead. This is a video game. This is a game where if I get shot six times in the chest, I'm, I can still walk. Yeah, you want to draw the line at being, you want to draw the line at fire being in the water? I love when people complain about that shit. It's like, oh, oh I, don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, God damn, I already ran out of stamina. Fuck, no. I was gonna say, I love when people are just like, oh, oh, why, 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 why is the fire allowed to stay in the water? Why, it's, it's totally fine to get shot in the face 16 times. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to tell you, it's a video game. This is a game where I can realistically get in a fight with the, I can get in a fight with the bear and somehow live. You think I'm gonna do that in real life? Fuck no. I'm not gonna go fight a grizzly bear. Those motherfuckers are scary. Okay, girl. Look like a uh, Paul Revere. Yep. Just ignore the fact that I just trampled that bear. Don't don't worry about that. I know it's bad luck, but. Sh I think I could swim. Yeah, I could swim that. Oh yeah, totally. I can make that. Oh, oh shit! That's a bird of prey. To kill bird of, we need to kill birds of prey with uh, tomahawks, that's why, to increase our marksmanship. Our sharpshooting, not marksmanship. I got over here. Let's see. What you got for me? Cat eye drink? Yes. Give me that shit. <laughs> the fucking the screen capture just like turned off for a second. Okay. Yeah, that's normal. I like when I can't see things for like five for a second. Like that's cool. I like to be temper. I like to be like Matt Bardock for like one second. It's totally cool. Right, here's the question: Can we make? It? Mm. I want to say yeah. Come on, Parmesan. Fight, baby. I need you to fight. I'll start injecting you with the fucking the stimulant. I, I, don't know, I can't get the stimulant in the water. This is my this is my boat. This is my boat, lads. This is how we get across. The British be damned. Captain Morgan will get across. Probably gonna get fucked off though. Please, please, please make it, please make it, please make it, please make it, please make him like right there. 
Ooh, that was close. Let's fucking go. Good job. Good job, Parmesan. Proud of you, girl. Alright, so let me see. What else am I missing? What the fuck is that? I can't throw that one right now. That's that's a little bit later. What is uh, something that I feel like I did? I did not realize how many fucking weapons there are. Jesus Christ, there, that is a lot of fucking weapons. Holy fuck. Sorry, the reason why I was moving so slow is because I was looking off camera. I'm looking at a map of, like, secrets and shit like that. I'm not gonna do all of them, but like I do wanna I do wanna try to get a lot of these. Oh, that actually is really helpful. Okay. Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm a pirate. Fuck you. Fuck you, Confederate bitch. They can do shit to me. You goddamn pussies. I'm a goddamn pirate. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. Fuck you and your bitch ass plantation. Pirates don't give a fuck about pirates don't Fuck about no plantation. I got slaves. That's fucked up. Slaves aren't okay. <laughs> right, what am I? What else am I missing? Uh. I'm trying to see you right now, that's why. Uh... One thing I'm wondering is where the fuck do I get this harmonica from? That's like, that's like a real question. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... So, I'm gonna, so, aside from, speaking of sailors and stuff like this, I just realized there is also a, there is also, like, a viking kind of treasure that we can find. I didn't realize that this was part of Vinland. Huh, cool. Uh, yeah, we'll probably do it in a bit, but we gotta help bitch-ass Micah out first. I just want to get this hat back to camp. Because we might lose it. Wait, will we? Yeah. I don't want to lose the hat. It's a, it's a cool hat. Makes me, feel, makes me feel like an explorer in the 1700s. Only I don't do fuck shit. I mean, I do rob people and shoot people. So, I mean, I guess, yeah, I'd explore in the 1700s. I was gonna say I don't enslave the local population, but I was like, there is a part where we do kind of use Eagle Flies in his crew. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> not good. I'll say, not good. All right, let me get this back into the. The way I see it, he's the worst kind of frog, Mr. Dutch. He's a rich dreamer playing at being one of us. How do you mean? He's on vacation with the lower classes. The outlaws, those unprotected by wealth. You are too hard on him. He he writes with incredible beauty. Yes. <laughs> He's very ornamental. As my uncle. Why do I have this? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. He was a slave. 
most educated man in his county, but a slave. Miller writes about men like him. Ah, uh, Miller's a slave too. A uh, slave to pretty words and empty phrases that you don't understand. A new day awaits. I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna approach what the, what was being said there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's no joke. The skedaddle. All right, let's go help. Let's go help everyone's favorite dumbass, Mike the Bill. He's my second. Actually, never mind. No. I was gonna say he's my second favorite criminal named Bell. Okay, I, I, I was just trying to help the guy. He's like, no, no, I wanted to be robbed. Okay, I, sure, I guess. I mean, yeah, I, I guess if you want to be robbed, there ain't no. Oh, so, sorry, 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 sir, sorry, sir. Apologies. Stay out on the way. Sir, sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Apologies, sir. Apologies. He was shooting at me, even though I was the one who technically ran into him. So, you know what? That's on me. Yep. What is it, bounty hunters? What is it? What's chasing me? Yeah, bounty hunters. So one of the one of the challenges I did see about Bandit is if you, I think it's a Bandit level, like Bandit 7, where it's like you have to have you have to survive at least three days in a county that has that has a bounty of two hundred and fifty dollars on your head, which doesn't sound too bad. I, I I've already done that before. I'll just start shooting people to get that bounty up. Really, not that hard. It, it's a look. I'll say this: it's annoying as fuck to deal with, but it could be worse. Let me try to outrun these guys first. There we go, we outrun them. <laughs> Probably go put that deer down. Oh no, he's fine. Okay, never mind. You know, usually when you when you trample a deer and then you start dragging him, uh that that may mean he's gonna die, but I guess in this case he was fine. He's just uh he was just goofing. He was doing a little bit of he was doing a little bit of a little bit of a prank on us by pretending to live. <laughs> God damn! There's a lot of legendary animals in online. Holy shit! I thought that I. I read double barrel shotgun and I read it as double bladed shotgun or as like it has two blades on it. It's like the fucking super shotgun from Doom Eternal. That'd be fuck actually that would be kinda cool. Imagine imagine putting a Doom weapon in a Red Dead game. That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm gonna see what they got in town first before I, I go help uh, the dumbass. Buddy, I, I just want to buy a, I just want to buy a gun. Can we just forget about it? I just want to buy some weapons. I just want to buy some. I can if you can. I just want to buy a weapon. From the start, maybe you even did me a favor. Well, maybe don't, maybe don't have a bootleg moonshine operation going on underneath your basement. How about that? Don't do that next time. Next time I let I catch you committing crimes, I'll shoot you. Any, let's see, clothes wise, anything good? I kind of want to see what this looks like. Uh, I mean, yeah, if I want to look, honestly, isn't that, isn't that Doc Holiday's like, outfit? I believe so, yeah. If I want to look like an actual gunslinger, this is the one you would go with. <laughs> cool. Actually, let me see for shirts what we got. They got a black one. I could, I could totally buy it. Have it. I ain't too bad. No, well, that's fine, man. I'll look you want to fix my beard situation though. It's a little a little patchy. I don't like that. I don't like that I have like just a patch on my chin. This shit looks nasty. Gotta make, I gotta get my shit fixed up. All right, now let's let's go see everyone's least favorite Vanderlyn gang member. Let's go see how he's doing. I hope he's just deep throating the barrel at the business end of a shotgun. That'd be really funny. I fucking hate Micah so goddamn much. I feel like it would be more beneficial to everyone if he did that. Okay, I can say that because Micah's not a real person. I would never wish death upon actual people. But Micah, for example, I wish his entire family got cholera. I wish his daddy got shot in the balls before Micah was conceived. Hey, dumbass, how you doing? Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time into Strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? I hate that the word gap has now been ruined because of internet After internet you. language. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. It's like when they said Ohio in the previous stream, I was just like uh. doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit. Can't exactly stay in town. 
kind of wish I could stay a crazy hermit for the rest of my life. Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a piece off. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. You'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. Especially after we just, especially after the fucking bank heist we just did. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. I'm surprised Lenny ends. was was willing Nothing to be with this man. You. I always pay my share. I would have shot him after like five minutes. When you Just say the word chat and I'll do it right now. It's, too late. it's lights out for Micah. No, I don't want to roll with you at all, Micah. Fucking rat. I would never want to roll with Micah. If you roll with Micah, you're a fucking rat. I'm gonna say that right now. Fuck anybody who rolls with Micah. I'd rather take a zombie plague than hang out with Micah. Should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah. Okay, I already got the mask on. I was like, hold on, let me get it on. I think also this will count as uh, one of my one of my challenges. Let me get the shotgun. Micah, can you wait before we get near them to start screaming that shit? I love how he said not again. <laughs> oh fuck, Micah's on fire. Okay, you call me sweetheart one more time, I'm gonna circumcise you with my tomahawk. Give it to them. They put up half a 
satisfied at least. Yeah! Laylock! Come on, boy! I already got a Lancaster, but I mean, eh? That's more your style than mine. It's better than nothing, I guess. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just. That's a weird expression, like licking butter off a knife. I mean, yeah, I guess it's easy. It's like. I guess well, it's like when people say it's like it's like cutting through butter or some shit because butter is easy to cut. I have never heard licking butter off a knife. Then again, this is the 1890s, so you know what? Hey, maybe there's maybe there's phrases I don't know. I, I think it's smart that we should never trust Micah. I got beef with you, Micah. No, we ain't. Ah, fuck. What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there. You dumb bastards. You okay? Oh shit, those, they got bold actions too. There's more of them. Let me see what we got in the in the. Every in the job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since because Micah brings nothing but death and destruction. Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. Does this qualify as a robbery though? Uh, let me see. Oh, I was about to say I thought my honor was like hardy and low. Uh, bandit. Fuck no, it doesn't count. Shoot off easy. I'll give you the honors on account of. Well, that should do it. <laughs> it was on, supposed to be scripted, but that shit was so easy. slow. Me, a river full of dead old Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. You'll see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. So many dead bodies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, but I'm happy we can at least progress through the story. Alright, give me a second. I'm going to... I'm going to set up camp real quick so we can fast travel to Valentine. i got to fix this atrocious shit that's on my face. I'm also just talking about the patch.
gotta, I gotta fix it. It's, it looks weird. It looks gross. Alright, let me see. Hmm. Okay, ba -ba -ba -ba, let's go tools. Oh yeah, this fuck, I forgot. Strawberry Valentine's not a good idea to go to right now because we did just have a we did just have a, a, a high go down there. That's fine. Uh, uh what would be a good idea? think what won't work uh you know what how far is uh how far is this place i'm gonna open up our map the guide map i mean okay so it's about It's like near, uh, how far is that from Butchers? Uh, not too far from Ansberg. It's about north. It's about north northwest of Ansberg. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? How y'all doing tonight? Yo, hey, how's it going? Welcome, uh, we're just doing a little bit of Red Dead today. Uh, right now I'm just looking for some side stuff. Uh, I'm looking for a couple weapons. So far, uh, what I'm looking for is, uh... Oh, thank you, I appreciate that for the follow. You're now our 300th follower, which means, chat, we only need 200 more to reach our goal of 500. So thank you guys, I appreciate that. Okay, so one thing I gotta do is I need to check the gun shop real quick. Because I want to see what I want to see if they have anything new. Oh, welcome back. Most people who leave Ansberg that long don't come back. The fuck what is that supposed to mean? Uh, let's have a look. Was he threatening? Did he just threaten me? No problem, Lupin. Ah, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. W W Naka W Naka ain't even know that you was there. How's the game going? Uh, so far it's been pretty good. Uh, I uh, basically, I basically just got into a, a really big gunfight, and I've I've made a uh, explosive ammo, and I've been having fun with that explosive ammo. Shit's broken as fuck, but it's fun to use. Plenty of people coming in just for that. I, think I still have some animal fat on me, so I can probably make some more explosive rounds. Right now I'm like looking for weapons and stuff, uh, mostly just like melee weapons, because there's a lot of there's a lot of hidden weapons out in this game. People need their guns around here. I do my best to make sure they have guns. Hispanic selling. I think the guy's German, but yeah. Okay, uh, I'm missing- I don't have any animal fat. That's fine. Okay. I'm clean my horse real quick. Okay, so where is- where would this spot be? This is at- uh, yeah, there's like so much hit. There's like so much ex like uh, hidden stuff out in this world that I can't keep track of everything. So I have to like re I have to use a map sometimes to help. Okay, so it's about right under the R of Roanoke. Okay, right here, and then right near the Cougar. 
good of the Confederate. Well, the Confederate lost, and also this is, I believe, the North, so. Confederates wouldn't really be here. So, I don't think it's too far because I think also there is, um, there's a what you call it. <laughs> just ran into just ran into a stagecoach. All right, I gotta keep an eye out for more of those coaches because I do need to start robbing them because I do need to work on the bandit challenge. I believe right now, what are we at? The bandit, bandit two. Okay, it's not too bad. Oh, it's the blind man. This guy always has a. This guy always gives us a fortune. Help a blind man. Okay. Let's also do. When we help him, we can get some. Uh, we can get some good. Uh, good honor. The whole night, sir. You have followed the wrong star. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. He's talking about Dutch. Dutch is the wrong star. I always loved that in Red Dead. There's always just like characters who somehow know certain characters like futures and stuff like that. Like the stranger from Red Dead 1 who just somehow knows John's John's future. As well as any other uh, any other event. What the fuck did I do? I just got low honor for no reason. Okay. Oh. Early 20th century seems so lively. Yeah. I mean, they want to make the world feel like it's lived in. It's not just here's a couple of characters in certain like like uh settlements and stuff. I kind of like that. I kind of like that we get to see like NPCs out in the roads and stuff and also here we have bounty hunters tracking me down. Oh, it's always in vain though. Hold on, let me let me take something real quick to cure to fill up my bar. Shit, I might shoot the horse, but you know what? Hey, no, I shot him in the leg. Okay. Let me get him with a tomahawk. <laughs> I missed. government is always watching you i believe these are pinkertons but yeah i mean they are paid off by the government so technically yeah maybe they use the same maybe they use the same system we use to track down our bounties where they just have it they have their own little marker they have their own little map that has a marker of our head on it <laughs> i mean that's how we're able to track down people so Okay, so let's go get this, uh, let's go head to the spot. Yeah. Zay Raid, yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you're all having a good night. I'm late. Nah, no worries. Don't worry, you're still highlighted as a raider, so you're all good. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, so we made it. So this is the spot in question I wanted to show you guys, which is the Viking burial ground. Oh fuck! Oh oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! All the wolves. I heard them. Let me get my bow ready. Poison. Where? Was it the wolf man or was it just wolves? Because I saw I saw a marker pop up for an event. There is a wolf man about, but. He's more of a wild man, necessarily not really a wolf a wolf man. There ain't no fucking werewolves in this game. There's vampires, but there ain't no werewolves. Alright, let me write this in my journal. I'm not gonna lie, this chapter has had like some of the weirdest drawings ever. <laughs> I think I kinda wanna show you guys the one with the Jersey Devil. 
I know it's not technically a Jersey Devil, but it's like straight up just. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend that you have you have to chase a gang down while dealing with the uh, random side stuff. Yeah, I mean that is basically what you do in this game. You're not pretty. You're not wrong, man. Okay, where was this at? I gotta I gotta show where the I have I just have for some reason a drawing of the Jersey Devil. Arthur for for a gun for a gunslinger, I'm not gonna lie. Arthur is pretty good at sketching. I really wish I could freehand sketch like this. Like, look at this. I wish I could do shit like that. that look, even if he's not like, even if he's not like highly skilled or anything like this, for an outlaw who's been on the road for twenty, for been now thirty six years, this man's a really good artist. Like Jesus Christ! All right, here's the vampire I shot, by the way. Okay, where where was it at? Where was the Jersey Devil at? I had it here somewhere. There it is, right there. There's the devil. I just found that randomly in somebody's house. There's a bunch of random shit we can find out. So I did learn that there is an alien Easter egg, but I it's like it's kind of weird how you're supposed to go about to go about it and stuff. I'm gonna try my best to get it, but we may not we may not uh, do it. What I do want to do is the stranger uh, side quest. It's not really a side quest, more of an easter egg. But it's still pretty cool though. And now we have a new melee weapon, the Viking Hatchet. Though, I will admit my history Oklahoma sure changed a lot in this game. What is this? Is this in Oklahoma? Because I always assumed it was like somewhere in Texas or Louisiana. Which if that is, I take back my statement about this being in the north. Because, uh... One thing, I, west side of Oklahoma. Oh, okay, that would explain like the swampland and the and like the the river border of Mexico. Okay, I didn't know that. That's actually pretty cool. Thank you for that. I always wondered where I always wondered where the Red Dead map took place in America. I always assumed it was like they did what GTA does, where it's just like, oh, here's this island, wild central USA. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty funny. They actually use land markers. Really, that's that's actually pretty cool to know. I didn't know that. Thank you for sharing that. Now, let me get my lantern so I can see in there because I can't. See. Actually, I did buy a. I did get a funny hat so I can go in there. Let's put the let's put the miner cap on, <laughs> so we can explore inside. <laughs> Who needs a lantern when you have a miner hat? <laughs> Alright, so there should be a helmet in here. I want to see if it works. You can't pretend anymore this is Tiro at Lamau. Oh, is it? Oh, hey, Tiro, how's it going? Hey, Ben, man. There it is. There's the Viking helmet. Here, let me take this hat off real quick because I may lose it. I'm good. Uh, second account on my phone. I got you. Yeah, I got a. I got a. I got a body. I got a secondary account too. I got you on that. I always make mine obvious too, where I'll be like loop it, loop totally not, totally not looping. Or this. <laughs> I remember this one I did for um. To those of you watching, to those of you watching, uh, I we have this. Me and Tiro have this friend uh, called. Si named Saber, where we, like, months ago, we made this joke where we were trying to encourage him to, like, stream for 12 hours, and for some reason I thought it would be funny just to make an account called 12 More Hours, Please, Saber. <laughs> and i just been using that as my bot, as my alt account. <laughs> Lamal, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so, is there anything else I'm missing, or is it just the Viking helmet, the Viking, uh, Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Da, 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 da. Uh, I have. There's like one more item here. Viking comb. On the shelf of the full. On the shelf of the four skulls on it. Beside the Viking helmet. 
break in open the skull and the Viking comb will be underneath. Who the fuck sticks a comb in their head? What fucking psycho is just like, hey, Eivor, you'll know it will be a very good idea. You should stick the comb in your head. So we will honor Odin. That's a great idea, Sigrin. I'm going to st I'm going to stick it in my head. I know why I think every Viking just sounds like the guards from Skyrim. I said one of these have the comb in it. There it is. Got a lot of steel if you're ready to buy. More inside. Gods be praised. Wait, I know you. It's no joke. You committed crimes against Skyrim and the people. What say you're in defense? Then pay with your blood. <laughs> okay, that that is definitely the wolf man. Look, I wish it was just a I, w I wish it was just a fucking it was just a guy it was like an actual wolf man. No, it's just a naked dude running around. I don't know why. He 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 just fucking is for some reason. I don't know if I don't know if you can see him. Why does the helmet look like the helm for it does, yeah. Uh maybe maybe uh Vikings were just really big fans of Skyrim. That they based in it <laughs> they based her into Okay. Real shit. Real shit. I wanna do this. How funny would it be if we if uh Okay, to all the people in the chat right now, let's do this. I want to fuck with people 2,000 years from now. I want to change some history. How funny would it be if we tried to convince people that Vikings base their fucking mythology and everything on fucking Skyrim? I feel like it could be possible. There's enough time that we could do that. Because historical inaccuracies, Nords are basically like, yeah, pretty much. I mean, literally, that's what- that's literally what you call- you would refer to somebody who's Norse, you would call him a Nord. Yeah, you're not wrong, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll settle down one of these days. Howdy! Your screen is black, is it? Never mind. Oh, okay, I thought I- I thought it glitched out for a second. Add- ah! Yeah, I'm looking at my alts right now, too. What is this fucking ad? Oh, it's a Jordan commercial. It's like just some kid, like, trying to do... That, okay, that was straight up just something from Just Like Mike. That that move was straight up from Just Like Mike. I Only Bow Wow could do that. I refuse... I, I, I think one day we should convince everyone that Bow Wow is just that elite at fucking playing basketball. This man jumped. <laughs> I know just like Mike was a movie, but one day I want to convince people that Bow Wow can really play like that. He could jump 25 feet. <laughs> at the age of 10 years old, he was able to do that. And he was best friends with Brenda Song and the kid from Stuart Little. <laughs> Okay, what- what just- did I just get bitch slapped by a tree? What happened? I didn't, what happened? I, I like got smacked in the face. I just got bitch slapped by a fucking tree. That's normal. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get out of Butcher Creek real quick because there is a lot of inbred hillbillies in the- in this part. This is basically like the- the Appalachia Mountains. Like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. For some reason, when you try camping in here, there, there's always going to be some guy like, I got, I'm going to shoot you. Me and my brothers are going to shoot you, boy. Okay, I think this is enough. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's travel the roads now. The one thing I love, the one thing I really love about fast travel is, just makes it easier to move around. Real, real shit. 
Uh, do I want to go to San Denis or do I want to go to, uh, uh I'm going to go to Rhodes. Because I'm going to get to camp, that's why. Yeah, I won't lie to, like, new I've heard people say they don't like the fast travel system in this game. It's understandable. It's kind of, it is very barbaric and stuff. Archaic is a better word, but just like Ben Stiller. Yeah, pretty much. My dream my dream is to be like Ben Stiller. Make a movie about throwing wrenches at people, bullying fat kids. That's my dream. Pretty by the end of the game, Arthur learns blue steel and he's able to block bullets. I hate that in that scene when Mufa when Mustafa throws that fucking shuriken and, <laughs> and Zoolander does the fucking blue steel. Fucking Jerry Jerry Stiller uh, just goes, Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. And I hate that now I think of moist critical every time I hear that phrase. This is what I mean by the inter internet culture makes me brain dead. I gotta rewatch. I gotta rewatch Zoolander. That'd be fucking awesome. Okay, no, no good guns. I'm surprised this guy's pretty cool with me, because last time I saw him, I put a fucking hatchet in his head. Ben Stiller, ben Stiller and Steve Carell star in Fat Kids for USA. For us. Yeah, he does. And also, uh, and also, what the hell, what the hell's the name of the kid from Fat Albert? What the fuck's his name? Not, not Bill Cosby, the, the, fuck, he's in, he's in SNL. He's the guy who's always smiling all the time, not, not, J not, uh, Jimmy Fallon, the other one. What's his name? Keenan Keenan Thompson? I believe that's the other one. But fuck, what what's his name? Fucking god. Cause he's also in that movie too. I'm not gonna lie, I love that in the 90s Ben Stiller basically just played a character who was Oh fuck just happened! Keenan Thompson, thank you. Okay. Mother Okay, hold on, hold on. No, you know what? No, no, no. Give me my bow and arrow. Give me my fucking bow and arrow. I'm ready to start some shit. And also, you know what? Give me the shotgun with incinerary rounds. Wanna fucking bother me, do you? Wanna fucking bother me, eh? Wanna fucking bother me, eh? Wanna, fu wanna fucking bother me, eh? Wanna fucking bother me? Wanna fucking bother me? Wanna fucking bother me? Oh, you motherfucker! Get off! That's a weird phrase. Oh, bitch. Wanna fucking bug me, huh? Chew my hat off, will ya? That's what bitches, I got something for you. Wanna play, huh? Wanna fucking play? Stupid motherfuckers. You know what, for you? Here, I got a little sum for you. Got a little sum for you, fuckwit. And the dick. Explosive knives. Basically, yeah. Actually, speaking of explosive knives. Let's make a couple TNT arrows. My favorite types of- Jesus Christ, there is so much fire in the background! See, I love that it's basically just the, the bomb arrows from, from Twilight Princess, where it's just- It's a bomb strapped to an arrow. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing fancy about it. It's just a bomb on an arrow. I like this shit, and then, 
whatever it's pointed at, it no longer exists. And I like that. Make sure my poison knives are ready. Anything else? You want to know? You want to know? Speaking of explosive knives, you want to talk about explosives? I want to show you something. Dynamite volatile. It's dynamite riddled with bullets. So when this thing goes off, bullets go flying. Who could be the evilest fucker ever? I don't like that. I like I like causing pain. Let me go get my hat. See, all these guys had to do was leave me the fuck alone. And none of this would have happened. It's like the it's like the hell it's like the nail grenades. It basically is, yes. <laughs> that fucking grenade is so evil to use on people. Yep. You're just surviving one day and then you just see a fucking bottle fly at you and it's and it's na it's explosive nails. And suddenly like half your body is just is just Swiss cheese. And you never see it coming. This is the evilest shit ever. See, explosives are already bad as it is, but then you gotta be more, you gotta be crazy enough to put fucking pointy objects in it. There's this one bomb in Assassin's I think it's Assassin's Creed Revela Revelations, where it's basically just a bomb full of coins, and when the bomb goes off, a bunch of coins just fly at people at a high speed that starts cutting them. I imagine it was his fault things went so bad in Blackwater. No, I can't remember. I was knocked unconscious almost as things kicked off. They're talking about before the game. What kicked him off? He was spotted. Or set up. Wasn't clear which. I didn't know that. Well, what's done is done, I guess. I love how anytime we get to visit the campfire, we actually do get some backstory on the game. Like, we learn about certain characters are talking about their past, certain characters are talking about certain events that happen. Right now, we're they were discussing Davy, who was a character who was seen dying in the beginning of the game, who we know next to nothing about, but he was a very, he was a very, he was a known member of the gang. And we're seeing how, like, uh, the gang is reacting to his death. At one point, I didn't show it, but there was also a part where Javier was talking about his life back in Mexico and stuff and how, like, he became across Dutch's gang. Where Dutch basically found Javier, like, stealing chickens and stuff and they ended up becoming- and they ended up becoming friends over it. It's really interesting how Dutch came across a lot of the gang members in this game. Speaking of gang members, let's talk to Abigail. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the breakaway place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. My mistake, Abigail. The fuck did I do? What is, what is Miss Grimshaw doing out there? Let's go check on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I look to my right and I just see Strauss dressed up as Ebenezer fucking Scrooge. <laughs> bah humbug. There she is. This woman is barefoot in the mud. You do like a smoke, huh? I want to smoke too. I love how we could just get shit based on our own supply. But you know what? Doesn't sound like a bad idea. Oh, gin though? Ugh. I fucking hate gin, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's my least favorite type of alcohol. I got money, I could buy more. Good work on that. Thank you. Loved 
Every minute. <laughs> Just pound all the fucking rum. What's wrong now? I seen you looking at her. Butch. Who? You know who. Getting too old for you, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional. Again. Don't even look me in the eye, but you look at her all day. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid, I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a game. You're a game. <laughs> just having a domestic dispute and we're just over here getting shit faced. <laughs> hey, it's like <laughs> Never mind, I'm not making that joke. I'm not making that joke. I've said too much. <laughs> I used to work with horses. Why are you barefoot, man? Uh my pa came over from Ireland. Uh Hello, Reverend. You're gonna bless with your presence? Mr. Smith? Hey, Arthur. Why don't you have a couple of drinks with me? <laughs> I'm okay. All right, suit yourself. I don't know why I thought for a split second. I thought Charles was naked. I was like, Charles, what? Charles, why are you freeballing it in the middle of camp? I don't try, I know Charles is all about na nature and stuff like that, but I don't know why I thought this man was just freeballing it. Important to show the balls, Arthur. Whatever you say, Mysterio. I I still can't get over the Go fact ahead, that every Charles. video game I've played in the last like five years, I've heard Charles's voice. He shows up in Star Wars Squadrons. He's in Spider Man Two. I'm not kidding. Anytime you hear me calling Charles Mysterio, it's because he he's fucking Mysterio. It's so fucking cool. It's so fucking cool to hear voice actors in other games. I think if I remember, it's uh speaking of Spider-Man, and since uh Tiro, you brought up The Last of Us. Some of you guys did you guys remember that fucking Miles Miles Morales from Spider-Man 2 and Spy Spider-Man Miles Morales is in fucking grown-ups too? I didn't know that. He plays Chris Rock's kid. <laughs> I always forget that shit. Yeah, he's just in there. He plays the oldest son, along with China Ann McLean. Damn, I haven't thought I haven't thought about China Ann McLean in years. Like, what was the was the last time I th what was the last thing I seen? I guess Ant Farm was like the last thing I seen her in. I know she's in that one uh, Disney series. I used to date a girl who used to watch like those. That one cool. It's the one where it's like, uh, like children of Disney villains or some shit. I don't know, was it Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, I think, I think it's Kingdom Hearts. Probably, I don't, I don't fucking know at this point, man. There's too many Disney properties, guys. I, I, I can't keep up with them. I'm getting too fucking old. I, I'm, I'm becoming that, I'm becoming that old, I'm becoming that, like, old, like, person who just doesn't know shit anymore. It's like, there's so much stuff out. It's like, look at fucking Star Wars content. There's so much fucking Star Wars stuff. Why is there so much Star Wars? I saw recently, though, that, um... <laughs> that, what is it called? That Skeleton Crew show? Where it's basically... It's, like, supposed to be, like, a Goonies equivalent to Star Wars, where... They were showing off some characters, and there's this character who's basically just, like, the Wolfman. But for some fucking reason, he has like this, uh, he has what looks like, it's... He, he's like, he has his guns holstered like how Edward Kenway had in, um, in uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And the funniest part is, the the blasters he have look like fucking flintlock pistols, <laughs> so I'm just like, So it's this, this fucking werewolf walking around, just flying around the flying around the galaxy with fucking pirate guns. <laughs> Avast! Hey, the moon is full. Selling it back to where it came Who needs from? credits wow. when you could feast? I've got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. 
up look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Bye, John. See you in the next. Okay. See you in the next game. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. See you in the epilogue. To look into something to do with the I don't think I would ever be an important oh, character in these games. Okay. Let's head out Why does my John Marson sound like he's being you know choked? I, I never understood that. <laughs> John has such a fucking unique voice, man. It's like it's like raspy, but it also sounds like he's screaming every time he talks. It's like Vegeta. Like I gotta manipulate my voice somehow to be able to do it. It's like with Vegeta, I have to like I have to essentially strangle myself to do his voice. And it doesn't even turn out right. See? It, it doesn't even sound like Vegeta. I came to Earth to beat the shit out of people. And then I tried Earth. Then I tried Earth pussy. And I wear pink shirts now. That's the power of pussy, bro. It can fix it. It can change a crazy man's mind any day of the week. Almost a bad bitch too. What's that in the back there? Maybe I gotta be maybe I gotta be an evil and maniacal genius to pull a smart woman like that. Chat, you think I would be a good uh, planetary conqueror? I mean no harm. I feel like I could. We're not talking like Frieza. I'm not I'm not a ra I'm not a racist. Okay. Okay. But I feel like I could be a good like conqueror. Like, I'll be nice at first, and then I'll just blow shit up the minute somebody starts laughing. Like, boo! Well, then again, never mind. Napoleon. <laughs> they just put Napoleon in Dragon Ball. You know what? With the amount of villains that are in Dragon Ball, I, I could see Napoleon being in Dragon Ball. It makes sense. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... But maybe you, was in the market you know one thing I can never get over? The fact that there's no military after rat after fucking raditz. Or sorry, not the raditz, Nappa. That one fucking episode of Nappa just fighting the fucking military on Earth. There's no fucking military in the in the Dragon Ball universe, and nobody talks about that. It's already Cause fucking the Saiyans destroyed it. Finding the property. Like, how are you gonna? How are you gonna have a military if you got motherfuckers flying and shooting lasers at each other? Who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? Like, I genuinely wonder now: is Goku seen as like a Superman in that world, or is he just like the crazy guy who has powers? I hope it's the second option. That's that's really funny. Listen, we didn't. Well, they magically reappear in the boot. Really? Honestly, I won't lie. I don't remember much about the Boo saga, so that's probably why I don't remember that. In fact, sir, now you can do What if Goku seen like how he is in the Dragon Ball movie? Make me pay. Go. Head over to the tavern run by Mr. There's dickheads trying to there's, I can't get over that in movies where it'd be like there's this magical, there's like this character with like these crazy ass fucking powers and he's being bullied by like dickheads. It's like, I can never get over Spider-Man being bullied after he got bitten. I get he doesn't want, I get he doesn't want to like, like accidentally kill Flash. Well, like stand up for yourself, Peter. It's like, Jesus Christ. You, you're just actively letting that man give you wedgies. It's okay, at least Flash gets cancer later in the comics. And then, then he becomes a guardian of the galaxy. I can't get over that. I, I can never get over the fact that Flash started off as a bully for Peter Parker, and then he became a guardian of the fucking galaxy. Marvel Comics is funny. I mean, if you if you create a character for more than like sixty years, you're probably gonna come up with some really random ass stories. Like the fact that Venom became a government agent at one point. I'm not gonna lie though, Agent Venom is low-key like one of my favorite designs of Venom ever. 
Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. We'll need some. I ain't playing dress. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Hello. Hey, how you doing? You're the idiot. Just Thanks, Jose. I appreciate that. I appreciate being the clown's idiot brother. That's that's definitely better. Gave me the monkey D. Luffy hat. Bring your lip forward just a bit. No. Oh, perfect. <laughs> what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> Fuck it, Jose. <laughs> Keep it and stay calm now. Okay, I legit thought he fell. <laughs> I legit thought he was. Arthur was playing the character so well that he pretended not to land on his feet. If I'm gonna be the idiot brother, I better act it. Just fucking bust my ass while I do it. My brother Fenton, don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? Fucking Jose. Fucking Jose. I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? Go along now. Enjoy the money! Come on, Fenton! Let's hand out the liquor. Yeah, this doesn't look shady as fuck. Just walk into a bar, here's free liquor. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm the idiot brother. I don't know how to open doors. Gentlemen! <laughs> the way how Jose just said gentlemen. Gentlemen! But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Sweet. Is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Pen to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. All day. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. It's good luck today. You actually have to do the commands. Keep them coming. Fin will catch us all. So drink up. I wonder if I could just keep pour oh okay, they don't they don't they don't let you empty it. I thought it would be really funny if we could like overflow the cup. <laughs> I gotta put the cup up first. I mean, that's kind of impressive he's able to pour like that. I mean, he did say I'm an idiot, but I can pour drinks. Bring the wife down, maybe she'll be happy too with the free drinks. Everybody loves free shit. I was wondering if we would ever do a shot like that. Slide a drink at somebody. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me, you're the bastard who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump! 
We're in advertising. Uh, come on in, have a drink. That's our goddamn lick. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Let me see, let me see what gun this is. Okay, what's this gun? Hold up, what, what was this? Oh, it's just a cattleman. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that. <laughs> Nice. Let me take something real quick. Okay, how many is it? Okay, it's only two guys. Not too bad. That's not, that's not a, that's not a, that's not one of the raiders. Nice headshots. Thank you. I mean, headshots are pretty easy when you can do dead eye, so. But I appreciate the compliment, though. Thank you. Meet some corned beef real quick so I can uh, refill my core. Okay, hold up real quick. Let me take another one of the snake oils. Take something. Uh, do I have anything else to refill the core? I mean, I was just fucking around with the. Oh yeah, I got some gin. I'm trying to avoid not to shoot the horse because I want to keep my honor up. Oh, they're on the train. I didn't realize that. Okay, never mind. That's just a regular guy. Thank God I just shot his hat off. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. They, okay, they're throwing Molotovs. I'm just mad they shot off my cool straw hat. Maybe I wanted to dress up like Monkey D. Luffy for the next chapter. Who knows? I'm still coming up with how I want to dress. Each chapter, I do right. change my clothes. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. Maybe I might do I might do like a gunslinger or something. I did say I kind of wanted to dress like the ghoul from Fallout. No, but I don't think so. The type of the type of duster I want to use is only in is only in online, but. A standard duster is pretty cool though. Clearly not too happy Maybe a shotgun coat or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll go visit old Ma Braithwaite. See what's what. Got well, enough time to figure out what I want to do for the uh, the next uh, the next trip. chapter's costume. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost, but we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as well. 
Let's call it a peace offering. Sure. Yeah, let's give her her own moonshine as a peace offering. That's a smart idea. I'll go speak to Dutch. Here's the here's the moonshine we took from you. Hope it makes you. Oh, right. This fucker's here. Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. Oh, wow. That's such a good plan, Micah. Sure. Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble. Micah's such a good plan maker. Now we have the He's the best. He's the here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. I would totally trust Micah with my life. And that definitely would have ended badly. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we Seems gotta complicated. convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Hey, Dutch, they're not hey, stupid man. enough to be like, Oh, you're giving me back my moonshine? Thank you! It's not like I don't have a fucking label on it. Business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sure, Dutch, whatever you say. <laughs> Alright, so we got a couple of missions we can do. What time is it on the recording? We're about three hours in. Get my hair cut. I don't want to go to chops. Oh, is this dick? You know, why not? Let's play five finger fillet with him. I want to see you cut yourself. Dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. I wish I could stab you in the face so goddamn bad. Here we go. No turning back. You know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. We got X triangle. Gotcha. Five times. Okay. Eat that bitch. All right, come on, Micah. What do you got? What do you got, man? Ooh, my heart's racing. Okay, circle. Do that. Come on, Micah. What are you doing? Wanna keep going? Alright. 
I might start fucking up here because this is where they start changing up the pattern. Look at this. See? Okay, let's see. Let's go start for the level. Gotta take it slow though. Okay, I was trying to do the fucking trick, but I couldn't. <clears throat> you motherfucker. Alright, I'll give you this round. You got this round? Okay. Alright, Micah. They're just fingers, right? That's a weird that's a weird statement to say. Try to do the trick, that's why. How about I miss my shot and aim for your head? I could go for that. Okay, then. Don't feel ashamed to give up. Okay, I pressed circle on that one. Come on. All right, fine, Micah. Rematch. I'm gonna do it one more time, and that's it. Shoot you so bad, Mike. I want to shoot you so goddamn bad. Ah. Okay, I broke up on that one. I said it was, that was it. This was fun, but I gotta go. You mind your hands now. I wanna shoot you so goddamn bad, Micah. I wanna shoot you so goddamn bad. Give me a fucking excuse, Micah. One fucking excuse. Just give me a give me a, give me a reason. Just give me a fucking reason. Alright, uh what time is it? It is Jesus Christ, it is five it is five twenty two. Holy shit. Thank God today's a weekend, so I don't really have to do anything. We just sleep in. That's really it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you so much for making it to the end of the video, and I will see you next time.